straight six engines may be a dying race, but there's a reason they exist in the first place. Six-cylinder engines have gradually been increasing in popularity over the last few years. Like many manufacturers choose to drop the larger V8s for financial and environmental reasons, replacing them with turbocharged or supercharged six cylinders, which are basically more effective. This reality may sound bad at first, and it's a bit of a pity that we'll see fewer and fewer noisy V8s over time. But there's also plenty to like about six-cylinder configurations. Six-cylinder engines can come in one of two forms, V6 or inline six, also known as straight six, and while they both have the same number of cylinders, their approach and functionality actually makes them quite different from each other. V6 engines are made up of two side-by-side -side sets of three cylinders that are angled and arranged to form a V-shape, while straight six engines simply feature a single file of six cylinders. When deciding between six cylinder configurations, manufacturers must consider a wide variety of pros associated with each setup, as well as their respective cons and how they apply to the needs of the vehicle in question. However, inline six engines have been somewhat revived after nearly going extinct. Here's everything you need to know about them. Inline six-cylinder engines are long. As we already mentioned, straight six engines are some of the longest engine configurations out there, surpassing V6s and even V8s in length due to their single file of cylinders. This is the biggest reason why most manufacturers tend to opt for V6s instead of inline six engines. Most engine bays in most models don't have enough space to fit an I-6 along with additional components such as turbochargers or superchargers, so it usually makes more sense to downsize the engine packaging in the form of a V6 or turbocharged four-cylinder. However, certain manufacturers have found ways extremely intelligent ways to save space in their engine bays without having to sacrifice their straight-six engines. Mercedes-Benz, for example, ingeniously replaced the traditional torque converter found on the end of the engine crankshaft with an integrated electric start alternator. This doesn't just save space, however, it also channels power more effectively and provides even more torque than traditional torque converters. Straight six engines provide sublime balance and smoothness. When engines are set up in a V configuration, the uneven firing order and subsequent cylinder strokes cause the engine to vibrate irregularly, offsetting the balance and smoothness of these types of engines. This is especially true for V6s since they have an uneven number of cylinders on each side. Inline six-cylinder engines, on the other hand, offer top-notch balance and smoothness due to the fact that all cylinders are lined up together equally. This means that one cylinder undergoing a combustion stroke will always be balanced out by another cylinder undergoing an induction stroke. To take advantage of this, I-6s usually have the following cylinder firing order. 152634. This is the smoothest possible firing order. Inline six engines are easy to work on, since straight sixes only require one file of cylinders, and thus, just one camshaft and crankshaft. Picking them apart and putting them back together is usually easier when compared to more complex V6 configurations. All in all, straight six engines offer plenty of possibilities at the cost of an incredibly impactful disadvantage, size. While that alone is enough to dissuade most manufacturers from fitting their vehicles with inline sixes, 
we can only hope that the future will provide more ways to make their use worth it.